So conservation is fundamental to what we do in the Trust. It's absolutely vital. It sits at the heart of everything, really. That conservation can be about looking after some high peak moorland, but it's also about places like these marvellous buildings here at Hardwick, and that's about basically all the skills and the craft and the materials that are needed to really look after those places. Well, I think when you're starting out in masonry, you know, as a 19, 20-year-old, and um, you know, watching some of the older guys at that time and, and just watching them work and just standing there and thinking, I'm never going to be able to do anything like that. I can remember when I did my first re return Cornish stone, for instance, you know, and I can still point that out in the building now. So, you know, things like that, great. The best thing about working at the National Trust is that we're trying to keep with traditional methods and, and keeping those traditional crafts going, which is, is a fantastic thing. And, you know, this is a prime example of, of what's happening and what should be, should be happening elsewhere. Well, the project we have underway at the Red Wing is initially to secure the physical fabric of this building. As you can see, it's in a terrible state of repair. We can see how poor the state of the interior decoration is, so we've lost a lot of the original plasterwork. And then, to make matters worse, we can see this great opening in the ceiling up above us. I think it's fair to say, had the Trust not taken stewardship of this building uh, for another couple of years, there could have been catastrophic failure in the structure of the Red Wing. But there's a great deal of history and heritage associated with this building. It was created in 1751, uh, designed by Capability Brown, and it's been home to the Coventry family, boys' school, and also the Krishna devotees over the years. So lots of layers of history intertwining, and I think it's our job in the National Trust to tell all of these strands of Croom's history. What it's all about is really looking at the furniture first of all, seeing what condition it's in, checking that it's all okay, looking for bugs, looking for pests, uh, identifying them and then really getting in there and making sure that it's clean, dust free, that there's no damage. It's something we do every year through the house and we move through room by room checking the furniture, cleaning it. Traditionally it would be done whilst the house was closed, uh, we've taken the decision to take this opportunity to do it whilst we're open, to show people what we're doing, to get them involved so that it isn't just pictures of this is what's happening when the house is closed, the doors open, people can come in, they can pick up a brush, they can get involved, uh, they really enjoy that and it's really quite thrilling to see the look on the children's faces when they get to clean things so it's just great to be able to share that side of what we're doing with the public 